Praise the Lord. Good morning. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you uh, to our YouTube channel this day. Hallelujah. We are in Nairobi County. Uh, we bless the Lord for this time. God has been so good to us and we rejoice and are glad in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. We are in Psalm 104, a psalm that speaks about God's power in creation and just reminds us how He takes care of man and beast. Hallelujah. How He's in control of everything in the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And uh, in verse 1, uh, the psalmist says that, uh, Oh God, hallelujah, you are clothed in honor, you are clothed in majesty, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. And then he goes on to say in verse number 2 that uh, he's, he wraps himself in light, hallelujah, he wraps himself in light, amen, he's clothed, hallelujah, with light as a garment, praise the Lord, amen, and that he stretches out the heavens, uh, like a curtain praise the lord you know when you wake up in the morning you have to stretch out the curtains hallelujah so the light can come in praise the lord but the bible says that uh, god stretches out the heavens like a curtain and that is wrapped up with light as a garment praise the lord amen you know light nothing travels nothing travels faster than light hallelujah the speed of light amen and uh, i remember that god created light hallelujah he, he created light in creation because we're told that in genesis chapter one the earth was full of darkness hallelujah and god said what did he say remember what he said let there be light hallelujah he created light out of his mouth praise the lord and the bible says that uh uh he's clothed with light he's wrapped himself uh with light as a garment praise the lord what a powerful god we serve your god is a mighty and a powerful god Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. God is so good and so mighty and so awesome. And then he goes on to describe his power in creation. Hallelujah. In verse 9, what does he say? He says that he set a boundary for the waters. He had said that the waters are, are covered the mountains. Hallelujah. Amen. But then he says he set a boundary for the waters in verse 9 so that they can never, uh, they cannot uh, cover the earth again. Hallelujah. Because he had separated the waters from the earth in creation praise the lord hallelujah so he has set a boundary for them amen what a powerful verse Psalm 104 and verse 9 and then he goes on to describe how god uh, takes care of our uh, of man and beast hallelujah and the birds of the air hallelujah in verse 14 it says that he he prepares uh, a grass you know uh if you look at uh, my background hallelujah there's grass all over hallelujah uh vegetation amen uh, the, the cows will come in a, in a few in a few hours to just to eat the grass hallelujah that is the provision of our god hallelujah in the name of jesus amen and uh, and then he goes on to say that uh, man also hallelujah man in verse 23 that man is able to go to his labor and come back in the evening praise the lord and in verse 21 he also says that the lions the, the young lions look to god to give him their prey hallelujah you you will see the lions are in this uh, uh national geographic series you know how they look for prey how they hunt down the the buffaloes and uh and uh and uh, uh and uh, the giraffes and all these uh uh meat again uh, meat hallelujah uh the lions they, they look up to god for their prey hallelujah god is the one who brings the prey along their way what a mighty god hallelujah in the name of jesus that the lions return to their dens hallelujah after they have, after they have gathered enough they return to their dens hallelujah and they look up to God to give them food in the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. And then uh, from verse 23, you know, after he says that man is able to go to his labor uh, in the morning and come back in the evening. Hallelujah. That is God. God is the one who gives the ability to go and work and come back in the evening. So don't boast. Hallelujah. Don't be proud and say, this is my job. I work hard. This is my sweat. It is not your sweat. It is the Lord who gives you the ability. Hallelujah to make wealth uh, uh at deuteronomy chapter 8 hallelujah amen he's the one who gives you the strength the power to make wealth in jesus name praise the lord amen hallelujah and then he goes on to say that uh, uh when god holds his hand hallelujah all the animals uh, uh, the, the the great uh the great uh fish in the sea they they, they, they they hunger hallelujah god feeds them hallelujah when god with holy hand 
the hunger they go they go hungry hallelujah but when god releases his hand then they are satisfied and they are full in the name of jesus i encourage you to read the whole uh, psalm 104 uh, just a reminder of uh, how god works in creation how he works in creation how he still works hallelujah in from day to day here on the earth hallelujah just to show that he is faithful and that he is true amen and uh, especially man hallelujah he says that he gives man uh from verse uh, from verse uh, 23 hallelujah uh, he just goes on to say that uh, he gives man the ability hallelujah to go to work hallelujah he gives him the ability to uh, uh to, to to produce oil hallelujah and wine that makes blood the heart the oil that makes his face to shine praise the lord and food for him to eat hallelujah so that he is satisfied all the days of his life god is the one who looks after us as human beings and we thank him and we praise him hallelujah i pray that this psalm has been a blessing to you god bless you for always tuning in every day take time to read the whole psalm pray over it memorize the verses and god bless you remember to subscribe to our channel if you have done that a comment underneath like this video and we look forward to see uh, to hearing from you uh today god bless you bye bye and we love you so much and we love you and we pray for you in the name of jesus amen see you tomorrow hallelujah amen